Hey, Lou. Uh, just wanted to know, uh, so, so you just uh, also mentioned your LULU, your Lululemon uh, calls that you sold uh, too early again. And, uh, you know, just curious uh, on, on to why. Uh, is it because it was getting too close to expiration, which I understand, and so on. Uh, sometimes in the options market, also what we do, uh, we can... Um, sell half our position which makes us even more comfortable so you take some money off the table by uh, liquidating or selling half your position um, and then it allows for you to hold the rest of them and feel good about it and that's what I do a lot on my options positions is I sell some of them and uh, it allows for me to hold the rest of them because you almost don't feel it like I locked in uh, enough profit on Monster where the rest of my position is all profit uh, so if I if they go to zero and they even expire worthless which I, I'm not going to let them do obviously uh, but if they go to uh, even zero I still uh, break even on the trade or still make a profit so I'm now I'm trying to use the money uh, that the market gives me or that the casino gives me and I'm uh, sort of playing with the house's money as we always talk about um, you know one other aspect is you know you have a little bit of a larger position allows for you to scale out of your position and still end up with the core that you might have had at the beginning as a regular position especially in the options market if you end up uh, buying an extra two or three uh, calls or so uh, will it really make a huge difference on your set uh, call position to begin with and now you have 10 and you sell those three to get out and now you really actually could take advantage of the upside.